Okay, so I promised that I would be showing you some things that aren't board game related uh, that interest me. So, this is, um, before everything kind of went downhill, I went and visited my family in Southern California and uh, made it to Star Wars Land. That's not what it's called. What's it called? Disneyland. Made it to Disneyland and uh, checked out the Galaxy's Edge, the new Star Wars Land, essentially the theme park I've been hoping would be open since I was about four years old. So I saved up money and did the whole Savvy's workshop. And uh, you go in with a bunch of other people and you construct your own lightsaber. So I got one of the um, protection and defense lightsabers. It's this whole constructive thing, right? So. So you go in, pick your style of lightsaber, and then pick your kyber crystal. I decided to pick blue, as you can see there, and this determines what color the saber is. So that crystal in there, like I said, it controls what color your blade is. You can actually purchase and swap those out. So if I wanted to, I could do something like this. I've lost my kyber crystals. You then have a separate blade that you can attach into the lightsaber, just like that. Switch the crystal. In addition, I went ahead and bought this cool lightsaber belt attachment here too, um, so I can walk around. It'll look pretty, uh, pretty nice, like a real Jedi. Uh, let's see, where else did we leave off? Oh, last time I did one of these, I was excited to get new glasses in the mail. Uh, doubly so because my kids broke. My current pair of glasses, uh, I'm on my second to last pair of contacts, um, and I ordered the glasses with the wrong prescription. So, uh, still excited to get that in the mail. Uh, before I got into the whole review YouTube channel thing, um, I just kind of really enjoyed games. In October of 2012, there was a local game designer from the Seattle area that was coming up to Linden uh, to show off some of his games. And this was unbeknownst to me because I was just going to be going to my local game store for their Halloween celebration, and that was it. Uh, so I dressed up as a zombie. I, the real emphasis being just a ton of fake blood all over my arms and hands. Um, and I rubbed that on right before I went down to the store just to make it look really good. Uh, and there was a very nice man there that was demoing his games. And I, it, it, One of them looked really interesting. I thought, oh, I'd like to try that, but uh, not, not going to approach that with the horror show that I currently was dressed up as, uh, but the man insisted that I sit down and try out the game. And so Grandpa Beck of Grandpa Beck Games sat down and taught me how to play Cover Your Assets, which became a game that became is currently is very popular in our hometown. Uh, and it was really neat. That was the first time that I really sat down with an actual game designer and was taught how to play the game. I hadn't been to any board game conventions at this point or anything like that. I wasn't in the hobby. Um, and that made an impression on me. That was really cool. Uh, and so naturally I wanted to support some of his other games. Um, another one that we bought and ended up liking was Scheming and Skulking. Uh, but Scheming and Skulking, Cover Your Assets, two games that I very much enjoyed. Flash forward to now and uh, Jeff Beck is promoting a lot more of Grandpa Beck's games. And that's really cool for me to see. Uh, seeing this person that I didn't know, hadn't known of, and didn't know his games, uh, and being taught them <laughs> so generously while I was dressed the way that I was, uh, was cool in and of itself. But now being in the hobby, doing a YouTube channel, and seeing that that brand is continuing, um, and I shared that story briefly on a Facebook page, the Board Game Spotlight Facebook page, and Jeff Beck reached out and said, hey, we would like to thank you for that, uh, for your support, um, which is really cool. So he... Um, upgraded my my games, the two that I love, Cover Your Assets and Scheming and Skulking. Now I get to try out the new version of Skulking, which comes in, with an expansion, and Cover Your Kingdom, uh, the re-implementation of Cover Your Assets. And I can't wait to try both of those out. And it was kind of cool. So I can't wait to get these to the table. Thank you so much, Grandpa Beck Games, Jeff Beck, for um, just being the awesome company that you guys are. Uh, and it's small things like that that really uh, impact not just me, like I'm just one guy, but it's those types of acts that impact people that are in this hobby or are trying to get into it or approach it. And it's the effort that companies put in by trying to draw people into the hobby deeper. Sure, it benefits them, but it also benefits 
the individual that's looking to either buy a game or learn how to play a game if they have the resources and the people that are willing to take the time to do it. Uh, and that's exactly what Grandpa Beck did uh, that Halloween afternoon at Heroes Resource. Blue Orange Games kind of surprised me by sending me a game called Bears and Barrels, which I haven't even heard of. Looks like a lot of fun, just a quick flip these bears and honey barrels type of thing. And Slam Cup, which is similar to like a, a speed card game, but you're using cups. And already we've busted these out and played them with the kids and they really, really like them. I'm so much better at it than my kids, so that's a plus for me. But yeah, looking forward to taking a look at these. Oceans is in the near future. Hopefully my, that's the next review that I get to and I'll just take it from there. Thanks a lot for watching and we will see you next time.